I think what drives packaging trends in Europe is a lot of what we're seeing that's driving packaging trends around the world. There's certainly a concentration on the consumer experience. Brands and retailers have realized that packaging alone is something that consumers see today as being more a part of their lifestyle, their, you know, what's driving their purchasing decisions. So I think the brands are taking that into account more and making packaging not just something that can safely deliver a product to the consumer, but can actually become part of their lifestyle, their purchasing mindset in a way that makes their life easier, better, safer, more convenient, makes their purchasing decision more confident. Uh, from Europe, what influenced uh, the winners this year, I think, was a lot about technology, taking existing technologies and applying them in a new way, uh, looking at being able to use technology to reduce materials, uh, looking at technologies in a way, again, that help consumers engage, interact with the, the packaging to make their use occasion uh, a little better, make their products a little fresher, help maintain that freshness, those sorts of things. They looked at technologies, uh, for instance, metal cans, flexible packaging, those staple uh, packaging technologies, but just looked at how they could make them you know, incrementally better, how they could take out a component, make them more responsible, uh, how they could use a component to help maintain the freshness longer of a particular product. And I think those technologies weren't necessarily central or centric to Europe, but I think they address that bigger consumer need when we look at European trends and consumer needs versus those of perhaps emerging or developed economies or underserved economies, uh, certainly we're seeing some, some specific changes there. But I don't think the winners that we saw this year were necessarily centric to Europe, even though they were from that particular region. Probably the greatest challenge facing the packaging industry in Europe is continuing to keep up with regulations, uh, to proactively develop packaging innovations, packaging solutions that really address the needs of the retailers, the brands, the converters, and the consumers in a way that the consumers can then take action with them to use them in a way that isn't really regulated, but in a way that really serves their needs in a way that they can uh, embrace those technologies. I think with the winners from Europe, what surprised me is we had a, a very good mix of industrial products, of food products. Uh, we had flexible packaging, we had rigid packaging, we had semi-rigid packaging. So it didn't seem that the innovations were necessarily focused on any one category, any one particular region of Europe, but I think the innovations really addressed a variety of needs from industrial agricultural products to food products, to helping maintain the freshness of food products, to really focus on consumer needs. Uh, we had a freshness tag uh, that was really overtly intuitive for the consumer, took that uh, misinterpretation or the opportunity to be confused by use by, sell by date code, and just made it easier for the consumer. The industrial package made it easier for logistics, made it easier for the user you know, to dispense in a more ergonomic way to reduce exposure to harsh chemicals, those sort of things. So it, there, I think the focus there in Europe is really across the board, how packaging can reach many, many different consumers across a lot of different end use categories. As far as the innovations from Europe catching on, or what we call being a technology transfer candidate, certainly the active, smart, intelligent packaging technologies, we're seeing a lot of those being developed in Europe, but we're seeing applications for them uh, in tandem with packaging throughout the world. We're seeing a transition from fun to functional, uh, that taking that entertainment aspect of smart, active, intelligent packaging and really moving it into that functional element where we see consumers today as hunters, not surfers. So we've all got mobile devices, but we don't surf the internet anymore. We go to the internet, we pick up the Wi-Fi, we pick up our mobile devices, and we are hunting for something very specific. And I think those types of technologies, wherever the consumer is around the world, are going to help give consumers greater 
access to information when and where they want it via their mobile devices, their tablets. So I think the technologies, particularly in that active and smart area coming out of Europe, are going to have widespread uh, applications around the world.